And today, let's have a look at a fixture that could be really beneficial for your drill press. Say you wanted to hold some round object like this and drill a radial pattern, maybe, in this aluminum. You can do that with ease with this mounted drill chuck. You could either have it clamped down, screw it down, whatever you like. And at the same time, you don't have to just use it this way. You can also use it on its side and do drilling around the outside edge. Now that could be mighty handy, right? Again, just clamp it down, fixture it however you need. Then another way to use this is grab something that's nice and smooth, maybe a, a, a long half inch transfer punch or something that's radially round and, and, and true. And clamp, clamp that in your chuck and you can align the chuck below based on that, let's call it a big drill bit or a big piece of steel that you have in here, and get this aligned perfectly with it. Then clamp this or screw it down so it's exactly center to center. Now let's say you have some small parts and you don't have a lathe. How about that? Now you can put your small parts in here, chuck it up, and you are good to go. Instantly, you almost have a lathe. All right, let's look at some other neat stuff. And for that, we're, we need to have a different view. And for the next tip, what I like to do is put a center punch, a small center punch that the tip of your drill can nest in the middle of. So don't make it too big if you have a small drill is kind of where I'm going here. And you're going to bring your part up to your drill bit and you can feel it nest where it can't go left or right, forward and back. You can, you can feel it sitting into there. And then bring down the drill till it's literally flush with the surface. So if you start with your drill down all the way where you need it, bring it up just a little bit and let it follow slowly to the bottom. Now you can see my quills ruined. I mean, this thing's junk. But I'm showing a concept here that is very valuable to you guys that don't have ruined quills. But this idea was designed because of that, actually. And here's the deal. Spin your chuck backwards while holding a little bit of load on your handle. And what it does is it creates a nice divot in the middle of where you'd like to be. And if your divot is put, how do I say, into the wood far enough where the center of the drill really likes where it's at, it really can't wander with summer and winter growth because you already started the drill bit, if you will. So then, once you do actually fire it up, you're going to find that your hole is now perfectly centered, even though you have these variations in density. So it works pretty good. Another tip. I'll have to go to a different view. And for this next tip, let's say you have a, a part that's a little smaller than the drills you have. And it's a radial part. So if it drops in like that and yet you want to still hold it, the little wiggle in there is going to be a problem. So if you cut a slot and then pinch it with, let's say, a clamp. Now your part is locked and you can move your fence around and you know get it all positioned just right. It is an excellent tip. I've used this many many times. It's always custom. So for me I can't even leave these lay around because the next one's gonna be so much different. That I'd have so many. All right and on to the next tip. One other, one other note, after you're done building this apparatus, you're going to say, how do I, you might say, how do I get back to center again? Well, the hole that you drilled in the actual piece of wood, you just reinsert your drill into the chuck and align it that way so it's perfect. Once it's been chucked up, you'll have the exact center. You can clamp it down then and you can start drilling your parts. Now that's if you needed the exact center. 
Maybe you're going to do a radial hole pattern, in which case you just mark each one of those with a center punch, and then you're going to be clamping down this board at the end of its, uh, at the end of your table, and then you're going to be clamping this board tightly this way also. And there you go. You can pretty much do whatever you need to do in this fashion. Let's look at the last tip, and that one is simply having a chuck that you can literally fling around like this to make it adjust. And that's as simple as chuck service in my other uh, video. And all you're doing is you're using brake clean on the chuck and you're spinning it just like this, adding brake clean back here. And just keep playing the game. You're going to shoot some up inside too. You got to lay down some plastic so you can catch whatever the nastiness is on a rag or something. But once your chuck is nice and clean, it's so much faster to do a job on a drill press because you always need either, it seems to me, you either need almost all of it or very little of it. I always seem to be going to the extreme ends of the chuck. You guys let me know what you think. That's it for tips today. Take care.